guys, I hope all is well. I have a quick video for you guys showing you how to be able to add color to your locks or to your twist if you don't want to add dye. Uh, what I'll be doing is you can use whatever color yarn you want. One thing I can truly say is I love yarn. Uh, yarn is nothing like weave. Uh, yarn holds its moisture. That's one really good thing that I like about yarn, especially when I used to get yarn braids. So I decided to use yarn. These are the colors I'll be using. You can use, again, whatever colors you want. Um, I'm also going to be giving you a bonus um, at the end so I can be able to show you another way to be able to add color to your locks. What you want to do is you want to get about that much. And it all depends to you guys on how you want them done, like how thick you want them, how thin you want it to be. So you just kind of play around with these and see what you like. I am going to put three strips together. Um, no specific length or anything like that, but I'm going to go ahead and get three strips cut and I'll be right back, okay? And always use acrylic yarn and you can get this yarn from uh, Walmart. I'm going to attach a really good video that I've done on my yarn braids and you'll use that type of yarn. And I also showed you how to process it. You don't really have to do all that, but that's kind of how you process it. What I like to always do is put some kind of grease type substance on it. I am using my favorite Blue Magic. Uh, you can use whatever type of grease uh, you like, but I like to always put it on the whole length of the actual, um, y'all hear that, y'all? It's really storming outside. Um, it is, I think they're getting a really bad hurricane in, um, I heard South Carolina, Myrtle Beach and stuff, and we're getting kind of some of the weather too, and we are in Georgia. Okay, so what I like to do, y'all, is put all of them together. I just go ahead and put all of them, and I'm going to actually wrap it, y'all, like I will wrap if I was doing a, uh, a lock extension, and I am also making sure I am wrapping the same way, y'all, that I would do if my hair was retwisted. So do not wrap the wrong way, because that can tend to make your could make your locks unravel and I don't want to have that at all. So just hold it down and just take it and just roll it. And it all depends on you how long you want um, this to be. And you don't have to be uh, all harsh with it. Be gentle. Um, I think what I'm going to do, y'all, was going to do half and half. I think I'm going to do a red one. I'm going to do a yellow one. And I'm also going to do a blonde one. And I think on the other side, I am going to do... Um, the whole multicolor. I just wanted to do something different, y'all. What I just got finished doing is I shampooed my locks. You guys know I am on a 30-day, um, once a week uh, challenge to shampoo my hair. I want to see, do I see any hair growth? Do I see what I see by doing that? Because I feel like to me when I had a TWA, it grew great. So I wanted to try it with my locks now that they're mature. Um, this is, again, this is really good to do. You will find that um, using yarn, your hair would not be dry. It holds its moisture and everything. And you just set your yarn up however you want it. So, um, And the good thing about this, y'all, is this add color to your hair without you having to actually dye it. Because you just have to be careful with dye. You know, some people have good experiences with dye and locks. It just all depends. Um, but... I am not going to be dyeing my locks right now. I am just going to be using yarn. So I'm going to get this all wrapped and I'll be back when I get all the way to the end. And I also want to let you guys know I am 22 months locked. Um, let me let you guys see. Again, like I said, I just got done washing and um, washing my hair. I always like to let my hair just air dry. Here is my locks. Okay, guys, let me get finished with this. And I'll be right back, okay? And guys, I added more strands because I wanted my the locks to be thick. So that's why I added more strands. So if you had a question about that. So then what I do once I get to the end, just like I would do a lock extension, I'm going to take my natural hair and see, I'm going to take two strands and my natural hair and just keep going around. I'm going to go past my real hair. That is how I find that it's so much easier to get out. Go just a little past your real hair and you're going to be using the um, extra yarn and yarn and your real hair to be able to tie it off. Just keep on going around the yarn. So you should have your real hair and two pieces of yarn in the other hand and just keep going down. And I'm telling you guys, you would love yarn. And I'm gonna go past my real hair. See, now you guys, it's just my real hair. And you just keep winding 
they keep lying that it's not tight it does not have to be tight and you guys if you need a replay on this just press replay because this takes a little bit of time to do so um if you got a replay it most definitely replay now what i'm gonna do you guys is i'm gonna just tie it off like i would if it was a, a micro braid and my real hair uh, make sure you pay attention my real hair ended like right there so what i like to do is i'm just going to just do one more tie knot just to make sure everything is good and it don't have to be tight or nothing like that Okay, and now I'm just tighten it a little bit and I'm about to cut these little pieces off. Don't cut no locks or nothing like that. You're cutting these little strands right here off only, only the strands. And that's why you go past a little bit your real hair. Okay, so now you guys, you have you a nice colored lock and I'm gonna put a little bit of water on. It's gonna sit flat, but you see how I have um, extra um, yarn because I wanted it to be thick. So there we go. Yeah, I'm going to do the same exact thing with this yellow and this color right here. And once I get finished, I'll come right back, guys. And if it don't sit down, just add a little bit of water to it. And that'll make it stop being so stiff. And over time, it'll stop being stiff too. Okay? Okay, so now what you do is you're getting close to the end. Once you get close to the end, take two strands of the yarn. And sorry, you guys, if you hear... The rain in the background is raining real hard. So you take two strands plus the real hair, plus your locks, and you're going to go beyond your locks. Take the other two strands and wrap it around until you get, keep on going until you get past your real hair. And you can kind of get a little bit tighter when you get down here. Not too tight, but just a little bit tighter. And you can use whatever color you like. Just always make sure you use the acrylic yarn. Put you some grease on it, like I told you guys before you put it in your hair. Some kind of grease substance. Anything hard, uh, like not hard, but like grease. Well, oil can work too, whichever you have. And I'm going to keep on going until I get to the very end. I mean, past the end, I'm sorry. Okay, just keep going around till you get past the end of your real lock and you're holding those two strands right here in your hand. Okay, and soon I will be closing it off. Move everything out the way so you guys can see. I'm gonna be closing it off soon. Again, like I told you guys, go past your real hair and tie it off just like a tie knot, like you would do if it was um, micro braids, okay? Take one more time. And again, you are not doing your locks. You're going past your locks. You can go an inch or two past your real locks. Okay? Now make sure it's tied real tight. I am going to cut this. Not cut your locks, but you're cutting those little strands. And that's why you go past your locks so you won't cut your locks. Okay, guys, so we got two going. So let me go ahead and get my other one in and I'll come back. Okay, guys, I am done. Here we go. So here is one side. And again, like I said, if you want to, you can play around with these colors. You can do one with three different colors on it. But instead of that, because I don't want to have to take out all this stuff, I am going to show you guys how you can also do it with rubber bands. Um, you can get the colorful rubber bands, the one that look kind of like the Marley colors. And all I do, y'all, is just pick me out whatever colors I want to use. I want to use the green, the oranges color. And I'm going to use the uh, the um, the yellow. So let me go ahead and get that out so it won't take a long time. Again, you can get these from Walmart. You can get it from your local everywhere. Um, and I'm going to take that amount out. And I'm going to put it right on this lock right here. Okay? Like I said, if you want, you can add it to all of your hair. You can do some yarn wraps. Those are the only things I think that are good on uh, locks because I'm very particular about to me what you put on locks so you just don't want to mess them up and I just feel like to me yarn is not bad I know a lot of people use weave but just to me I'm more I, I just don't know I don't want anything to cause damage um okay so let me go ahead and choose a lock I'm going to use this one I'm all I'm going to do you guys is just do it once just go around just once 
And then I am going to use my yellow just once. You don't have to go around a whole bunch. And just keep doing your yellow, your orange, and green back and forth or whatever color you want to do. It's all up to you and what you like. But this is the colors that I'm going to stick with. I'm just going to keep on going back and forth. And I find that this is just something cute, simple, don't cost a lot of money. Uh, when you add like different little jewelry and different things to your hair, you'll be amazed on how much better it looks, especially like if you're having a bad hair day. Um, you just add you some. I also add jewelry. I have different jewelry to go on my hair. I will include a video on me adding beads, but this was a quick um, little extra hair tip for you guys. So you can add uh, just an extra bit of color, a little bit of flair. Um, and I'm just going to just keep on going down. And it's going to be easy to get out because I'm not making them super tight. Don't make them super tight or your yarn. Don't make it super tight either. Okay, guys, there we go. Hopefully that helped you. Yeah, I can give you some pizzazz for your locks. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And you guys take care, be blessed, and I'll chat with you guys later. And this has been a very good journey. Again, I am 22 months locked, super excited. Just want to show you guys my hair. Um, and what I have been doing, y'all, is I only retwist once a month. Um, I'm kind of maybe thinking of maybe even doing less because I want to be able to keep my locks thick. So it might even be less. I'm kind of liking the freeform look, but we'll see. You guys take care, be blessed, and chat with you later. Bye, guys.